Coquise Washington and Penn State knocking off the 13th ranked team in the country, 70 to 56 in pretty impressive fashion. Thanks for joining us. Christy Winter, Scott, Lisa Byington with you. Well, what a signature win. I know we're only in game four here Great. of 2016, but what a signature win so far here for the Lady Lions. Well, they came out with a purposeful mindset today, and you heard Coquise Washington say, we were in attack mode on both sides of the basketball. We wanted to play up tempo. We wanted to exploit their lack of depth with only nine players on the Tennessee bench. So Penn State, you got to shake their hand and say, well done. They did their game plan, and Escape with the win. Lady Lions play a lot of freshmen and sophomores, and they are going to continue to play. Someone by the name of Tanaya Page. What a game she had. 29 points doing it from a little bit of everywhere. Well, Tanaya Page, after the game, said, I've always been the underdog because of my size. And that did not matter in terms of her physical size. The size of her heart was huge in this contest. And the Lady Lions relied on her effort. Four double-digit scorers, Paige included, as well as Mitchell, who had a double-double. Now back-to-back double-doubles for her. Well, she was all over the place, in the right place at the right time, getting to the offensive glass, knocking down timely jump shots, including the dagger at the end of the game. It was SEC against Big Ten, and three-point shooting a huge story for Penn State. Well, last year, Tennessee was one of 11 from three. This year, two of 19 against Penn State. So Penn State clearly has their number when it comes to contesting the three-point line. Uh, distance shooting was a concern for Tennessee and trying to fend that off against Penn State. Lady Lions taking advantage of it. A 70 to 56 final and a top 13 upset at home.